Hello and welcome to another video. I know I've not spoken to you for ages in a video. Streams, yeah, but oh, video. And it's on a gaming video as well. So, yes, this is great. So, when was it? It was last. don't know. Sometime in within the last two weeks, the Tees Valley line knew line came out for Trades and World and I have got it now so I'm going to do the tutorials like I have for the last three. Last three? No I'm trying to spend any West Emerson. Last two! This will be the third one. Yay! Let's let's get into it. Class 37 introduction. Welcome to these Class 37-5 diesel electric locomotives in rail freight sector livery. This brief introduction will go through the start-up and stop procedures. Alright. The rear locomotive is already running with its tail lights on and its handbrake released. Climb aboard the lead locomotive to get started. There is an invisible wall around these locomotives. I cannot walk outside it. Nice though, very smooth. This performance has in, has improved on PS4 recently. Right, anyway, let's just get in. Don't want this to drag on. A lot of time will be spent driving, so take a seat to door. continue. Take a seat, okay. The master key Ooh. is used to activate the driver's controls. Ooh. That sounds kind of nice, actually. Set the reverser as indicated in preparation to start the engine. Go ahead and start the locomotive. <laughs> With oh, the handbrake right holding actually. the locomotives, set the train brake as indicated. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. One. Now use the reverser <laughs> to set the direction of travel. Move forward, I think. Lights and a head code are important to let anyone around know that this locomotive is operational. Okay, so I'll switch them on. I don't want to switch them on, but the game tells me to switch them on. It's time to move. Set the handbrake as indicated. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Okay. I really like that nice spin off footage so you didn't have to wait for the brake to go down like me. That was probably was quite poor. I love that too. Okay, here we go. With the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power and focus on achieving a desired so speed. 50. Coasting is a method used to efficiently. Okay, okay, don't care what you Make use there. of the brakes and throttle controls to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Good idea. Oh, yeah, we're on a completely flat dead track here, so we're not going to speed up at all. the stop marker, apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. Sounds like the 
climb a bit now. Throttle off sound. Perfecto. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive. Ooh, really? That's it? Oh. What do I do now? Ooh! That's it. Oh, okay. Right. What's next? Oh, is it the 101? Oh, I've already done the 101. I did the 101 in Northern Transpennine. Oh, anyway. Right, I'll whisk through this, and then I'll do the 08. I'm, I presume it's similar to the 09, but I'll, I'll do it just in case, you know. So yeah, on, on to the 101. Class 101 introduction. Oh, it's raining. Oh. Welcome to this Class 101 three-car diesel mechanical multiple unit in British Rail Blue and Grey livery. Ooh. This brief introduction will cover startup, stopping, and passenger operations. It's a three-car. We've not had that before. Before getting started, some of the controls must be set in the rear cab. Head over and climb aboard. Okay. Mind the gap. There, there's, there's barely any gap. <laughs> what station even is this? Right. Okay, I've got a British Rail sign there. Marsk. Okay, Marsk. Hmm. Never heard of that place before. Never been on this line before, to be fair. Right. Yes. Red lights are used to signify that this is the rear of the operational train. Yes, we've done all this before. While the brakes in the lead vehicle hold the train, set this brake as indicated. Oh no, this stops as well. It's a lot quicker than the 37 though. Everything's now set up, so head to the front of the train to continue preparations. It, oh my god. It tells me to go through the train. Okay. I'll do what you tell me, game. <laughs> Eventually. There we go. When ready, sit in the driver's seat. They might be shutting behind me. They do in other games, in other ones, so I don't know why they're not doing it just now. Oh well. Right, sit in the seat. The control circuit key is used to activate the driver's desk. Yes, I've done all this before. White lights will indicate to anyone around that this is the front of the operational train. What? I wasn't told this before. Oh, right, this train okay, yeah. features two engines in each driving Never vehicle. Mind. Start the engines in this vehicle. Now start the engines in the rear vehicle. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Seems safe. What about the panel lights and the wipers? What about the panel lights on for now? If it doesn't tell me to put the wipers on, then I'll do that. But this, where are we going? Where are we going to go? Bishop Auckland? Blank. Oh god. Oh, okay, this is a different system to the Northern Trans Pennine. This is like a hold it this way until you get to what you want. Let's go to Sunderland. <laughs> Where, 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 Stockton, Wakefield, Carlisle, Whitby, Durham, Blank. Okay, we're back to Blank. I've been to Whitby. Whitby's a nice wee town. Crewe, York, Newcastle, Special, Scarborough, Private, Not in Service, Middlesbrough, Manchester, Victoria, Leeds, Huddersfield, Darlington, Empty to Depot, Bishop Auckland, Blank. Oh, lock the doors. Now use the reverser to set the direction of travel. It's oh, time to move. Set stuff. the handbrake as indicated. Uh, this train features a gear system similar to cars on the road. Yes, yes, yes. To attain higher speeds, the active gear must be increased at the appropriate time. When accelerating and the RPM dial has reached the top of the yellow zone, it is appropriate to change up the gear. 
heard this all already, mate. <laughs> the brakes on this train act like a water tap. The higher the setting, the faster the train will stop. Open the valve to select the desired pressure, then close it again to maintain that pressure. Yes, yes, yes. Done all this before. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. All it's right, important so I'm not to provide to on a the smooth ride so for passengers. Hmm. What do I do? Put it on. Just, just put it on. Okay. Just chuck it on full power, I suppose. Then throw it off. I can't see. It's raining. The process of changing gear has several steps. Set the throttle to idle and allow the engine RPM to reduce below the yellow zone. Engage the new gear, then return to the desired throttle application. Let's try. Throw off. Throw off. Observe that the train now has the ability to accelerate to a higher speed. When the RPM dial reaches the top of the yellow zone, repeat the gear change process to continue accelerating. Can I switch on my wipers yet? I want to switch on my wipers. I still can't see. Oh, I did it. Oh, oh no, not gear 4, gear 3. Ugh. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. To cruise at a constant speed, the highest gear should be engaged. This reduces the speed the engine operates at and is fuel efficient. Okay, if you say so. Where's the next station? You've not told me where the next station is. this. I am so confused. What am I meant to be doing? Where is the next station? Oh right, there's a 30 limit coming up. I think it's after that. AWS in this. I need to isolate it. I think I do. I think it is up there. Only, only 30. I'll just let it close down to 30. There we go. So I already Liz Briggs. Oh gosh, switching. Oh jeez. Oh, that's a quite a severe switch, that. Why are we switching over to the wrong track? What have I done? Done. Oh, Solberg. Oh, this is the end of the lane. Oh. Aim to be doing no more than 15 miles per hour when the train reaches the platform. Then come to a stop anywhere alongside. Okay. Well, I mean, considering the speed limit's 15. But anyway, we're coming into Saltburn. We've still not got our wipers on because we've not been told to for some reason. Ooh, this is alright. Nice wee station. Start applying a small amount of brake force now to achieve a comfortable stop. Oh, 
I'll just plonk it there. Now the gear selected to neutral. Well done. Practice makes perfect. Give a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe and then unlock the doors. Why wouldn't it be safe? Good work. That's the basics oh, covered. Thanks. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this train and more. Okay, I don't want that. <laughs> that, no thanks. But anyway, I don't know if I'll keep that in. Probably have, because that's, that's quite a bit different to other ones. But yeah, that's the 101, which is now in a three-car variant. Which I believe does the Saltburn to Bishop Auckland services. And the two cars do the Darlington to Saltburn. Or whatever, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, yes, that is the 101. On to the 08 shunter, which I believe should be the same as the 09 from... Oh, hang on. What? Hey. Alright, it is the class 08. Not, the, not another 101 tutorial. Welcome to this Class 08 diesel electric shunting locomotive in BR Corporate Blue livery. Ooh. This brief introduction will go through the start and stop procedures. A new livery. Before entering the locomotive, the battery isolation switches need setting. Start with the left side. Alright then. Ooh. Oh. oh. Ah! Oh, that's funny. And then you go to go <laughs> I like that, he calls the door. Oh, that's funny. They never do the other side. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it just is funny. As with the Oh yeah, shut up. Two step ahead of you. Enter the cab and continue preparing. Uh -huh. Active lights are important to let others around know this locomotive is operational. Okay. So I press this. And I press oh, that one next to it. Instrument lights. A lot of time will be spent driving, so take a seat to continue. This looks exactly the same as the <laughs> 09. Go ahead and start the locomotive. Hold the master key and start until, the, oh, until it's running. Now that the engine is running, the master switch needs to be set. To on. On. There we go. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Where's the brake? Oh, they're in the middle. To ensure that nothing moves while preparations continue, adjust the locomotive brake accordingly. Is it an emergency? That's odd. The locomotive brake is holding the train, so the rest of the brakes can be released. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's an... Oh. No, oh, this is faster. This is faster than the 37 as well, luckily. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't fly around! Oh, train brake. Uh, to run. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. Oh, my control of battery is low. Oh no, that's not very good. Forward. Track alignment okay. plays a large role when manoeuvring around a yard. Head out on foot and adjust the indicated junction as required. Alright, okay. The now part is now set. Back again. Head back to the cab and continue preparations. <laughs> it's time to move. move. Set the locomotive brake as indicated. <laughs> Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Be sure not to... With the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power and focus on achieving a desired speed.
Make use of the brakes and throttle controls to manage the train at the center of the speeding. Good work. That concludes all the basics stopped. of this locomotive. I was really at it. Me. You're blind. Okay. Don't know what happened there, but oh well. Alright, so on to the scenarios now, so that is it, that's all the tutorials for the Tees Valley line. So yes, if you enjoyed this video, don't be shy, hit the like button. If you enjoyed my Discord, for, I've, I've never said this, I've never put this in a video, it's always been in the description, so down below my Discord server is open. Uh, follow me on Twitter for some reason. Don't know why you would, but yeah, do that. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. If you, yeah, subscribe. And yes, that is it. See you in the next one. Goodbye!